Hello guys, welcome to another session. In this session, we are going to look into part 2 of operators and flow control in PowerShell. So the topic which we are going to discuss in this session is logical operators and the flow controls. In the logical operators, we will learn about logical operators in PowerShell. We will do some exercises to understand it better. Once we are comfortable with the logical operators, we will also look into the flow controls. Within the flow controls, we will look into if block, if else block and the switch statement. So let's start the discussion on logical operators. So logical operators, we have AND, OR, NOT. So these are the logical operators. We need logical operators in conditional statements or in loops where we have to evaluate a certain condition. The evaluation of an expression that contains logical operators usually result in boolean values that is either true or false. So let's jump into the PowerShell scripting editor and we will understand all these logical operators with some examples. So we are into PowerShell script editor. To understand the logical operator, we are going to perform these three exercises. These exercises are pretty much a straightforward exercises. I have kept simple exercises because you will understand it in a simple manner. So let's start with the exercise one here. We will do the exercise one. Within the exercise one, we have to use the AND operator. So it is pretty much a straightforward. We will try to evaluate two conditions and we will check both the conditions are true so that it will return true. If one of the condition is false, then it will return false. For example, if I will check 3 equal 3 and here we will mark it with parenthesis. We can enclose this with parenthesis and then we can use AND operator and then we can check the other condition. For example, 5 is greater than 4. So both the conditions are true. So it will return true. So let's run it. So it returned true. So see here. So here it must be true both the conditions. If any of the condition is false, then it will return false. For example, if I change it like 3 is equal to 2. If we will run it, it will return false. So see here. So this operator is really very handy whenever we are using if statement and we want to check two condition or multiple condition at a time. So we will use and operator and logical operator. Now proceed further and let's do the exercise too. Here we will use or operator. With or operator, we need to check any one of the condition must be true. So we will take the same example so here if you will use or operator and if you will run it it will return true why because one of the condition is true so run it so it returned true if both the conditions are false then it will return false so any one of the condition is being true then it will return true this is also very handy whenever we are using if block and we want to check any one of the condition is being true while evaluating any expression so at that time it is really very very useful now let's do the exercise 3 exercise 3 we will check that how we can use not operator not logical operator so if we will use the same example and if we want to negate it that means whatever the result which will come from this expression and we want to negate it we can put not not operator over here not so what it will do it will negate it for example if it will return false then it will make it true so for this scenario if we will run it then it will return true see here so first what it does it check both the condition if any of the condition is false then it return true but in this case it is returning false for both the expressions and at last it applied not operation so it make if you apply not on false then it will return true so this is the way you can use logical operator this is really very useful when we are using if block. Now let's move further and let's discuss about flow controls. So in this topic, we are going to discuss about three kind of flow control. First one is the if block. Then we will also look into if else block. And along with that, we will also look into switch statement. Now let's jump into the PowerShell script editor and do some exercises to understand it better. So we are into PowerShell script editor and here we are going to perform these four exercises to understand flow controls. So the first exercise which we are going to perform where we will check that whether notepad application is running 
within the system or not so in this exercise we are going to look into whether notepad application is running or not so currently there is one instance of notepad is running so let's look into that how we can do that so to do that we will use a commandlet called get process so here we will check that if get process name notepad then it will print notepad is running so here we will print that notepad is running now run it you run this then it will print this one so notepad is running because we are running it now what i will do we will understand the else block as well so here we will introduce the else block that is our exercise 2 so within exercise 2 what we will do we will introduce the else block. so let's do that so i will copy this one and here we will use the same exercise so that you will better understand it and here we will use else and we will output that if it is not running then we will output that notepad is not running notepad is not running so now what what i will do i will close this application and try to execute it so it is telling that notepad is not running cannot find a process with the name notepad because i haven't running yet so let's confirm it again what i will do i will again run the notepad application so notepad application came now now i will execute the program again let's look into that what the output we are getting so execute it so it is returning notepad is running so this is the way we can use if block as well as the else block now moving to the exercise 3 exercise 3 we are going to create a program which will do the thermo logic on Fahrenheit scale and where we will look into if else and else if block in action so let's write a a program for this to do that we can initialize a variable called temperature and we will assign a va values over here now we will start writing a if block where we will check that whether the temperature is less than equal to 32 then we will tell that weather is freezing and we can tell that right output output over here and we will tell that it's freezing so I will use the same block I saw that I will write less and here we will tell that it is an else if block and we can tell that if the temperature is less than equal to 50 then the weather is cold same way we can check for if it is lesser than 70 then the weather is warm else block we will use so else block we will go as is no need to paste anything so here we will write output as hot hot now run this program so here what we are doing we are initializing a variable called temperature and that temperature variable we are checking that if it is lesser than equal to 32 then it is telling that it is freezing then we are checking that whether it is 50 Fahrenheit scale then it is cold we again used else if block where we will check that whether the temperature is less than equal to 70 if it is than that then it is warm else it is hot so let's look into that what is the output we are getting so select this one run a selection so it is hot why because we have initialized it with 90 so change the value for example you can use 40 check what is the output we are getting so it is cold so this way you can use the LC ladder so this is called else if ladder where we have multiple else if block and we have else as well so this is what i wanted to demonstrate over here now moving forward let's look into another exercise so the exercise for create the same program using switch statement so whatever the program which we have created in exercise 3 we will do the same program with switch statement so let's do that now in this exercise we are going to perform the same thing what we have done in exercise 3 but with the help of switch state so here we are going to define a temperature variable and where we need to define 30 and now we will use the switch statement to use the switch statement we will need to use keyword switch and within that we will need to pass the temperature variable then braces start and here we need to make sure that we will be using first the default and then we will write the condition this is the way how I prefer so that our syntax would be correct so see here now there is no error so by default we will put hot now we will start giving the condition so here there is one intrinsic variable is there that is dollar underscore which can be used whatever the value which we will get over here that is being stored in this intrinsic variable so make sure that you will be using this 
and with the comparison operator which I have discussed earlier and here we can pass it and now we need to specify the values over here so we will use write output and then we need to print it so we will tell that below freezing and now what we will do we will copy paste the same thing so that we will utilize the time so here so three condition we will check if it is 50 less than 50 or say less than equal to 50 so change the value over here 50 and we can mark it as gold so here we need to mention gold over here and here for 70 we will tell it as a warm so this is the way you can use the switch statements now run it and check what the value it is printing so it has printed all the variable why because we forgot to mention break because it will execute all the statement if you will not use break over here so this is the one of the important criteria to use switch statement if you will not use break it will execute all the conditions and it will print all the or it will perform all the thing which is being mentioned within this statement now only one statement it will run so let's run it again so we have passed 30 and it is telling that it is below freezing so that the reason it is now if you will change it for example if you mention 70 then it will print warm so let's run it sorry it, we need to change it less than equal to now run it again so it will print warm so here it has printed warm because we have used less than equal so this is the way by which you can use switch state so let's jump into the topic and let's look into the topic what are the things which we have covered and then we will wrap so here we have covered the logical operators in this session and we have seen the examples of and or not this not is the same like not operator so I haven't covered it but it will you can use it instead of hyphen not you can use this operator as well so it is equivalent and we have performed the exercises for that these are the three exercises which we have performed and then we have seen if block if else block and the switch statement so this is all about operators and flow control in powershell i hope you are comfortable with this topic now so i am wrapping up the session over here see you in the next session till then bye bye take care